Hello everyone. Today in trick number 23 we are going to study some of the divisibility rules especially the divisibility rules of all single digit numbers. Well most of the divisibility rules of single digit numbers are very very common and uh, only the divisibility rule of 7 is one thing which the students fail to remember. So today we will stress upon the divisibility rule of 7 but first of all let us revise the divisibility rule of all other single digit numbers. Say for 2, 4 and 8. For these three numbers we need to remember the divisibility rule together. The whole number along with the unit digit. The whole number along with the units and tens digit. Entire number with unit, tens and hundred digit place. For 2, 4 and 8, we just watch numbers from the right side. For 2, we only have to inspect the unit digit of the number. For 4, the number at the tens and the unit digit. And for 8, 100, 10 and unit digit. Say for example, if we have a number say 846, here the unit digit is either 0 or even 2468. Here it is 6, so the number is divisible by 2. We have to just see the units place. For 4, we see the number at, at the tens and the units place. For example, suppose we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Now this number has 42 in the tens and the units place and 42 is not divisible by 4. So the entire number is not divisible by 4. So, not divisible. Similarly, for 8, we have to increase one more digit. So, we inspect the number in the last three places. For example, we have 7, 2, 5, 8, 1, 3, 2, 8. Now, this is a very big number and when we have a rule for the number, it is easier to inspect. Now here we have 328 in the last three places and 328 is divisible by 8. So the entire number is divisible by 8. So these are the rules for 2, 4 and 8. After this we have the rule for 3 and 9. In both these numbers, we find the sum of digits of the number and check whether the sum of digits is divisible by 3 or divisible by 9 or not. For example, suppose we have 1, 4, 3, 7, 3, 6 and we have to check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So we just total the digits. 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6. This gives us 24. Now 24 is divisible by 3. So the entire number is divisible by 3. But 24 is not divisible by 9. So this number is not divisible by 9. So we have to check the sum of digits. Now this is very common rule uh, can be found in all books. Then coming to 5, here we have the unit digit as 0 or 5. If the unit digit is 0 or 5 then the number is divisible by 5. That is very simple. And for 6, 6 is 2 into 3. So if the number is divisible by 
टू एंड थ्री बोथ देन द नंबर इज डिजल बाई सिक्स ऑल्सो सो दिस कंप्लीट ऑल द नंबर ऑफ सिंगल डिजिट एक्सेप्ट सेवन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द डिजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ सेवन विच इज वन रूल विच वी हैव टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर सिंगल डिजिट नंबर लेट एस टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस से वी हैव द नंबर फोर थ्री टू डबल फाइव now for illustrating the rule for divisibility by 7 what we do is we write the entire number as it is leaving behind the last digit and we subtract double of this from the number so we get 4 3 1 5 and we continue this process until we reach at a single digit or a double digit say here we have 4 3 1 now i have left behind 5 and double of 5 is 10 so subtract 10 we get 421 similarly 42 minus double of 1 2 is 40 now this number 40 is not divisible by 7 not divisible by 7 so the entire number is not divisible by 7 so this is a rule for divisibility by 7 let us do it once more i'll take another number say we have 17822 now apply the rule One seven eight two minus double of two is four, so one seven seven eight. One seven seven minus double of eight is sixteen, so one six one. One six minus double of one is two, we get fourteen, and fourteen is divisible by seven. Therefore, entire number is divisible by seven. so this is the rule for divisibility by 7 when i am illustrating the steps i am taking 20 seconds but when you solve this in competitive exams you don't have to write the steps you can do these calculations mentally by looking at the question paper itself and arrive at the result whether the number is divisible by 7 or not so this completes our module on divisibility rules of all single digits one or two very interesting facts in divisibility all the triplets like triple 1 triple 2 triple 3 etc all the triplets are divisible by 3 and 37 these are the two essential factors of all triplets so whenever you confront a triple digit repeating digit we can blindly write the factors as 3 and 37 plus we may have some more factors also similarly when we have numbers consisting of six digits and all digits are same say we have triple 1 triple 1 triple 2 triple 2 triple 3 triple 3 and so on now here we have six digits all repeated so we have five factors here 3 7 11 these are the five essential factors 13 and 37 these are the essential factors of all numbers which have six digits repeated in them so these are some interesting facts for you so if we know all the divisibility rules of single digits then we can start with double digit numbers also keep learning keep enjoying share and subscribe the videos if you like them